How's everybody out there doing today? Another beautiful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> Ooh, that stainless steel takes a killer, awesome flavor off that stainless steel wire. Man. That stainless steel wire is a little, a lot different than camp ball. Today, I'm just going to do a, it's probably going to be a long video, but it, I'm going to show you how to make a Clapton coil from start to finish, okay? It's not that hard. Hey, right, go on, that tastes good. All right. Let's drop down. All right, as you notice, I got me just a, a electric drill, you know, I mean a, a battery-powered drill. Uh, set it to the end over here on the table. So my chuck is pointing straight towards this over here. This over here, it, uh, let me move the light so you can see. <laughs> there we go over here I got a screw put into a board over here there you go clamp down to the desk I got a couple of swivels I know they're the cheap because I'm a cheap bastard these I'm uh one day get the ball bearing uh little spinners but this will do. I got three of them lined up, and I put a little e juice on each of the where they spin, you know, for lubrication. Okay, there's my other end. All right, so when I back it up, you notice I got this end right here and that end to the chuck of the drill. Okay, all right, we're gonna focus on the drill part first. All right, first off, you got 26 gauge stainless steel 316L okay and you got 32 gauge 316L stainless steel of this and you notice I got 250 foot of this because it takes a lot of this small wire okay alright these are two wires we're using by Tempco I'm telling you I like that Tempco Tempco is a good good wire to use all right so what we're gonna do for just a regular single clap you know we're gonna pull off about I'd say from the drill to where our swivels will be in length okay let's see if that'll be long enough Take one more off. All right. right. About right there. And then cut that piece of wire. All right. There's our single coil, uh, our core wire. Okay. Take the wire, stick it back up through the hole so it don't unspool from the spool. And you'd be in a hurting trouble. Alright. Just like that. So it don't go nowhere. Alright. Now we got our wire. Okay, I'm going to cut off this little end because it's kind of messed up. Alright. Take your wire. Put you a little bend in it. Just like that. Okay. You can see the bend in it. You open your chuck of the drill up. There we go. Open it up. Stick that. Let me get my magnifying glass over here so I can see. Stick that in the center of your the chuck of your drill. And then clamp down on it. And 
and get it down in there. That wire is some springy wire. All right. There. Now I got it in there. Okay. Now I'm going to measure to where my swivel is. And I'm going to come through the swivel just like this and get my drill set up where I want it. Alright, and then I'm going to pinch it at the swivel right there, okay, I'm just going to pinch it, alright, and then I'm going to twist it over itself a little couple times, alright, and then clip that excess off, you don't need all that, save that for like a single coil or dual coil, single wire, you know, don't get it mixed up with your canthal, <laughs> Alright, now you see what we got here? We got a, you tighten your wire up now from the chuck of your drill down to your wire. Alright, take you a piece of paper, fold it in half. This is what you're going to hold this 32 gauge. Alright. You take your 32 gauge wire. I'm going to lift the camera up just a little bit so you can see what I do. I take the spool, and so the wire is like this coming off the spool, okay? And I put it right between my legs, okay? Let me get some. That way it doesn't, you know. You can let off the pressure or whatever on it. Okay. Wrap the end here around that piece that's sticking out there. Just like that. And get it started. Make sure it's in clockwise mode. Just give it a couple spins to get it started. Get it away from the chuck, you know, just like that. Now, with pressure on it, always hold pressure on it. Take that piece of paper, stick it around it, just like that. Come up here and pinch right where that wire is at and start spinning. And you have to let your hand flow free. And just follow along the line. Let it guide itself. Huh? If you stop, you just don't loosen up on your finger. Just let it guide itself. And when you get down near the end, I'm going to stop, 
I'm going to grab the wire and I'm going to pull it backwards just a little bit, spin it a little bit more so it backs up on itself. Okay? Just like that. Alright? Hold pressure on the wire. Take that piece of paper off. Now, can't really see it too good. But there's a big knot down here now. You see how I backed up? And then there's a knot right here. So there's about a good inch that I came back. That's so this doesn't unspring from it. All right, cut that excess off. All right, now you can take it off your hooks. Okay. Undo the chuck you drill. And there's your Clapton wire. Camera won't focus today. <laughs> there you go. See, there's a couple imperfections in it. See? Perfect clap. It looks like there's spaces between it. So what you do is you take it and you hold this in. You push it, slide it down, and pull it down. Oh, see, I can see a bunch of them right there. Now the beginning of it turned out real good. Oh yeah. All right. Well, there's your Clapton build. That's all there is to it. Patience. Okay, patience. Y'all have a good one.